How's it going, Mets and overall baseball fans? Welcome back to the channel and happy St. Patrick's Day to you all that celebrate. As you can see, we have breaking news to discuss that was originally broke over the past hour at the time of recording this from Will Salmon of The Athletic. As you see here that, yes, the Mets have claimed 26-year-old flamethrowing right-handed reliever and Dennis Santana from the Minnesota Twins organization. So that's what we're going to be deep diving in this video. All you need to know about Santana, and I know you're probably wondering, we're we really talking about a waiver claim? Yes, we are, and it goes directly in hand with, of course, D Edwin Diaz being down, or the Mets going to do for this bullpen, and what already injuries arising aside from Diaz for guys trying to compete for a bullpen spot, there's now more potential than ever for some guys trying to compete and actually crack the roster, and there is a solid reason to believe that Dennis Santana could find himself in that category, so that's what we're going to be going over, but before we do, I, of course, have to let you all know that today's show is brought to you by Bet Bet BetOnline is your number one source for all your sports betting needs, so make sure you head over to BetOnline.ag using promo code BELIEVE. Believe at BLEAV that we get yourself a 50% off welcome bonus. Bet online is where the games begin, folks. Let's officially let the show begin. Also, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button if you're new or a recurring viewer. Really does mean a lot. So, raw reactions in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys regarding this pickup of Dennis Santana. And in case you don't know who he is, as you see from the stat line down below, 26 year old towering right hander who is an absolute flamethrower. The guy averages between 97 98, can even hit triple digits on the velo. Also, has the change up. The slider and the sinker the biggest bugaboo for sure has been his sinker all of his other pitches in his past season in which he played with the Texas Rangers with an over five year array but expected year array around 3.89 and why is that important you might ask it's important because expected year array SI year array what these things tell you is really what a pitcher can control so when you look at his baseline year array yes it's not great but you also have to keep in mind what was the defensive alignment behind him you know how productive were they what are the things that he can control that's where expected year array SI year array all those other advanced numbers come into play, and they are in his favor. So to get this guy in a waiver claim, a little bit surprising to be quite honest with you, and I really do like this pickup right away based on the velo, based on the slider, what he brings, and again, is erratic with his control, has over four walks per nine, just like Adam Adovino's and the David Robertson's of the world, so nothing that Jeremy Hefner can't try to do his best efforts and fixing. I like this. It gives, you that, it gives me that Miguel Castro vibe. It really does, not only based on, you know, the looks, the stature, and his arsenal, but just there's a lot of similarities in those components going on there. So Dennis Santana now comes into this Mets a roster right now without a minor league option and this is something we're leading into the spring training. The Mets weren't in favor of acquiring guys that didn't have minor league options because they need that flexibility because injuries are inevitable throughout the year. So they lack that flexibility now by not having anything with Dennis Santana. So Santana needs to quite frankly make the bullpen just like how Zach Green needed to make the bullpen or he was sent back to the Yankees of the Rule 5 draft. That has already happened. Dennis is in that same spot he either cracks the bullpen if he doesn't then he's put on waivers will likely be picked up on waivers or can elect for agency so it's pretty much now or never for Santana to make this Mets bullpen with a couple weeks left here in spring training but he has the pure stuff it's filthy it's nasty it's there a lot of people including myself were a little surprised to actually see him available like this because throughout his career I know around a five-year ray but it all comes down to that control at the end of the day when you see the fastball again touching triple digits you know you look at Sam Coonrod as an example for the Mets that we've seen in the bullpen who looked great in camp but unfortunately he's dealing with injury now so the likelihood of Coonrod even cracking the Mets bullpen is slim to none now entering the season then you look at other guys as well trying to compete for spots John Curtis who pretty much feels like a lock J Jimmy Yacobonis is trying to get in, a, in there uh, Montez Diaka a flamethrower in the Mets organization who's dealing with an ailment right now but a guy who will potentially be cracking this bullpen at some point this year now you enter Santana in the mix and again given the pure stuff that he has that is exactly why we're talking about him today it's not like this is just any random waiver claim it definitely goes in hand with the Mets losing Edwin Diaz for the entirety of the season and again trying to see what can work with the low risk high reward type potential move it might not be Zach Britton but I mean if we're looking at pure stuff I like his stuff more than I like Zach Britton's who's a show of what he once was Santana is young he's 26 he's laying He's a flamethrower. And when it comes to control, there's anything that I can say as a friend uh, from what I've witnessed over the past couple of years is that if anyone can help get this guy right, if he's not a lost cause, it'll be because of Jeremy Hefner and what they have going there. Eric Yeagers, who's another guy, part of that pitching staff now coming from driveline that they use advanced analytics, saber metrics to really help get the best out of their pitchers. So 
I'm happy with this move. It's low risk, literally zero risk whatsoever. High reward. If he cracks this Mets bullpen and is effective this year, then this is an easy W for the Mets making this acquisition come to fruition here. So again, this bullpen configuration is going to be ever changing throughout the year with more inevitable injuries. They're going to make more moves, I'm sure, if not heading into the season, then definitely by the trade deadline. We all know that the save artists, whether that's David Robertson or whoever is going to be that we discussed in previous live streams and videos, make sure to check it out as always, folks. It's going to be shakier than what it usually is knowing that we don't have that lockdown closer and Edwin Diaz down there. But again, high velo, nasty stuff. The sinker, you might can make the argument. He just needs to get that out of his arsenal because that was far and away his worst pitch last year. All of his other pitches, you know, fantastic when it comes to expected by an average, by an average. but the sinker not looking good at all. So I, I'd imagine that he's either going to get rid of it or Jeremy Hefner is going to work with him well and keep that thing going with the assumption that he cracks this Mets bullpen. So once more time, one more time rather, low risk, high reward move. I like this move for the Metropolitan and see what they have here. And Dennis Santana, who could be the next sneaky pickup for this Mets bullpen and a coaching staff that knows really, really well how to use their advanced numbers and not go with the old school mindset that they have in the past. See, just see what works, see what doesn't. And if it does work out, then the Mets have found themselves a diamond in the rough. So Mets fans, I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. How do you feel about this waiver claim of Dennis Santana? What is your expectation for him for this season? One, do you think he's even going to make the team? And two, if he does, what type of role would you personally like to see him in? And three, if you watch Dennis during his past couple of years, either in the Rangers or the LA Dodgers organization, let me know your input down below. And again, what is further things I need to work on? Greatly appreciate. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more great content, post game shows all throughout the year with the number one post game show on YouTube for a reason, covering the Metropolitan's podcast every week and so much more. And I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Let's go Mets, baby. Peace out.